All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I got two awesome special guests here on their way back to Connecticut from Maryland, which was an awesome trip. I'm sure you guys seen a lot of footage by now. These guys stopped by on their way back to Connecticut. We're gonna test out this conveyor that I showed you in the previous video. So we're gonna run to 1222, splitting this awesome roadside red oak and put this conveyor to the test and fill this trailer and see how it goes. What do you think, guys? Yeah, I yeah. think that looks good. You got a nice pile of oak here and a beautiful, shiny machine yep. and nice rusty conveyor. So yep. what could go wrong? Well, we'll see if we can shine it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's wipe that rust yeah. off of it. Yep, stick with us and we're gonna be splitting some awesome red oak. It's a little flaky on the outside. We'll see how the conveyor does with the debris and uh, go from there. So stick around, guys. We'll get right to it. guys three people with this machine and a conveyor is a lot uh, there's really not much for the third person to do but uh, some cleanup which we we're able to do right around the splitter here like I said in the beginning this stuff is pretty flaky on the outside so you got all that sapwood and uh, bark falling off right at the splitter so that was the kind of debris we were getting at the splitter. I'm sure if there was better wood that wasn't so flaky on the outside, you won't have that much uh, debris. Here, uh, the conveyor jammed up. Not exactly sure what happened, but it stalled the engine right out. Didn't break the chain, but uh, we were able to Somewhere get it up and running geez. pretty quickly. Something's, and, uh, got something's jammed. We uh, gotta turn this guy and do that. It's moving. Kinda. Fire it back up. I don't see what happened. Sometimes ours just pops like the. Well, look at the the grizzly bar. You think it's jammed in the in the middle there? Let's see what happens here. I'll fire it back up. Only one way to find out.
So we're just splitting along here in a pretty good clip and uh, looked up and realized that the trailer was getting a pretty good cone in it. So that's one of the things you gotta watch for. I mean, you don't want a big cone up there. Stuff will get jammed up pretty easy. But every now and then, go up and take a rake and knock it down into the corners. Once you put a conveyor in front of a splitter of this caliber that's just producing, there is not much for the third person to do besides get a rake and start cleaning the area up around the splitter and make sure everything's running smoothly. Uh, it was good for me to let Chris and Jake take, take the wheel on the machine so they could uh, get a real good feel for it and uh, just so I could actually go around and see how things were running, see if I could uh, identify any problems anywhere. I tell you what, Jake and Chris have a pretty good system up there at their woodyard in Connecticut at the Dude Ranch DIY Woodyard. Uh, if you guys get a chance to get over to Dude Ranch DIY, I highly recommend going over there and checking their process out how they how they process the wood down and, and run it through their rugged made splitter. Like I said, they got a really good system they have going on and it, it works really well for them. So again, go ahead and check out Dude Ranch DIY and I uh, guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Alright guys, check out the debris in the gator. Now this isn't normal unless you get wood like I do that's real flaky on the outside. That's a lot of sap wood that was bad and bark and it's just it just made a big mess right at the splitter. So if you have normal fresh cut stuff or stuff that hasn't been sitting around for a while getting that age on the outside, you will not have that much of a mess at the end of the day well guys we got a full 7x12 sure track trailer way over full i got lots of stacking to do which i'm not happy about but nobody else is going to do it so <laughs> but the conveyor worked well we did have a couple hiccups a uh, couple things caught on the grizzly bars uh, some pieces actually got wrapped around and tried to go back through and got jammed between the the paddle and the bottom part here but uh all in all for a first run the chain didn't break that's that's all I'm, I'm happy the chain didn't break i know what chris and jake had to had to deal with theirs with the chain breaking and and all that stuff but uh fortunately that didn't happen for me so very happy Good hiccups today yeah very happy hiccups. very happy I, I do have to put some tension on the chain it did uh get a little loose but uh we had so much time during splitting we actually got all of the stuff except for this little pile here cleaned up and in the gator freaking awesome bringing some of my ocd to your yeah wood yard. right right <laughs> so we split four rows I said we need to leave at least two for me to deal with. 
because I'm going to have to go down to the roadside again here shortly or to my log guy. But uh, hell yeah, very productive. All right, guys, there you have it. Jake and Chris came over from Dude Ranch DIY. On their way back from Maryland, stopped in. We split for like an hour and a half. That's what the yep. time says on the hour meter anyway, but they've been here for, what, three hours now? Yeah, we've been, you know, so, shooting, shooting the shit, shit hanging yeah. out. Yeah. It's been a but, great time. Uh, I'm glad we stopped by. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, no problem. Great, Thanks for stopping in, man. I'm, yeah. I'm glad it was on your way home. And now, yeah. It's just a little bit out of your way, probably. but That's yeah, uh, all right. You know, we're in the area. Yeah. <laughs> now I just got to make it up to their yard. So mm -hmm. Yeah, happy and to have you. I wanted them to get some personal time with the 1222 since uh, down in Maryland. I know they ran a couple, but there's lines of people waiting to run them, so they got some personal time. And Yeah, this was very intimate. It was an intimate splitting session. <laughs> I'm glad we got to get up close and personal with the 1222. Yeah. We, we really got to see how it worked, how it functioned, mm -hmm. what was best uh, as far as splitting technique goes and the type of wood that it loves. Um, and then you know what causes it to jam up, what causes it to make a mess, and yeah. you know following everything through and, and really getting the the private time with it. Yeah. yeah. My big concern was with the conveyor, so I was I was trying to keep an eye on that, seeing what problems were gonna were gonna arise. And uh, Chris actually seen the first problem with the grizzly bars. He seen the piece flipping around, and uh, I still don't know how the piece wrapped back around and tried to go come back down to shoot but uh we'll figure that out i might have some footage of it though so i had a camera yeah. up there we'll see Check back the footage. <laughs> but uh yeah all in all it was a great splitting session and, and i'm happy you guys were able to make it it was yeah, freaking awesome absolutely thanks for having so, us i'm glad we were able to make you some wood now you got some yeah wood i got stack. some stacking to do <laughs> so <favorite> part. <laughs> so if anybody's out there that wants to come stack I'll probably have a stack by the time you get here, though. So. <laughs> but uh, all right. you can wait. Uh, yeah, I can. I can leave it in the trailer uh, as long as it doesn't snow or rain and it's big wood sickle. We're good. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, appreciate you coming. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, awesome group here. If you're not already subscribed to Dude Ranch DIY, go ahead and head on over there. Give them some love, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!